Welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Jess the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on the channel is intended for all collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars Black Series Gaming Greats GameStop Exclusive Republic Commando Boss. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. If that's your sort of thing, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and hit that bell notification icon so you stay notified when I do upload new content. If you do enjoy this video or any other videos that I put out, please remember to give them a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. With all of that out of the way, guys, once again, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars Black Series Gaming Greats GameStop Exclusive. Republic Commando Boss. Now this guy, ah, this guy could have been a really, really awesome figure. Republic Commandos are my all-time favorite style of clone troopers. And man, did they just let me down with this utter reuse of essentially the Bad Batch body. And while their armor is kind of technically based off of Commando armor, it's not 100% commando armor, and I feel like they really could have gone above and beyond and gone, you know, obviously four figures out of one body uh, had they gone and made their own, you know, unique mold for the commandos from the Republic Commando game, you know? So, a lot of missed opportunities with this figure. However, I absolutely love clone troopers and I absolutely love Republic Commandos, so I had to pick this guy up. Regardless of how shitty uh, he is in comparison to what he really could be. Now, he, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to stay positive with this, but now that I'm like really looking at him and playing with him, it's just, man, you know, there's just so many pieces that he's missing that he really should have, that he could have. Um, and I know we don't get alternate hands with Black Series figures, but an alternate fisted hand with a knife would have been amazing. And, you know, maybe throwing in that handgun that you use. I'm remembering all this shit right now because I actually recently just purchased the remastered version of Republic Commando for my PlayStation. So I've been playing the game, so I remember all this stuff. And after remembering all this stuff, I'm just like, wow, this figure is pretty lackluster. So... Like I said, I absolutely love Clone Troopers and I love Republic Commando, so that's the reason why I got this guy. Uh, but, yeah, he could have been so much better. I mean, there is just such a missed opportunity of them not creating a unique body mold for the Republic Commando team specifically. But, I digress, guys. Enough complaining and bitching about it. It is what it is. We get what we get. It's Hasbro. So, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and pull him forward because he only does come with one accessory as you can see he's holding it right there and that is his blaster which is about three sizes too small for himself as well um i think even the blaster that comes with the three and three quarter inch uh figures from back in the day came with a larger blaster so yeah this thing is just utterly tiny in his hands when it should be relatively large but uh hasbro's gonna hasbro what are we gonna do so yeah you get that and you also get this backpack on his back, which is essentially a reworking of the Bad Batch one, if you really look at it. So, another point of reuse, of lazy reuse, if anything. You know, you really could have got some real good use out of a uniquely molded, sculpted uh, clone trooper body right here. But, uh, like once again, Hasbro's going to Hasbro. It is what it is. Uh... But I guess at least the paint is decent. You know, it's not the best. This weathering, it, it's okay. It's not the best. But, uh, you know, the paint up here looks nice. And I have to admit, the visor paint looks really good. So, that's a plus. But, yeah, guys, I'm sorry I'm being so negative with this figure. It's just, you know what? I decided if toy companies are going to raise their prices, I'm going to be more critical of their shit. Because they're going to be raising their prices. They're going to be giving us uh, less than... You know, I'm going to be more critical about it because I'm spending the money on it. You know, these toy companies do not send me these toys, guys. Uh, so that is why I'm being so critical of this figure. Despite me saying that I still do love it. And I still do love the fact that I have it in my collection. Uh, there's just so many ways this figure could have been better. And honestly, one of the best Black Series figures ever produced. But anyways, guys, with that being said, let's just move on into articulation. He can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can look down just very slightly. 
He can not look up at all, so he'll just look straight back at you. His arms will go out to a T-pose right there. 360 rotation. Careful with that shoulder pad right there. It's going to move with the arm. Uh, no butterfly joint. So, yeah, no butterfly joint. Uh, no rotation at the upper bicep. Single hinge elbow with rotation at the elbow right there. Rotation, whoops. Rotation at the wrist, hinging in and out on this hand, up and down on this one. Rotation at the abdomen right there. Ab crunch down that far. Ab crunch back that far. Um, a little bit of side tilt right there. I guess he has some decent head tilt on his head. Uh, taking a look at his legs, he can not join the chilling squad just barely though he's pretty decent though for a clone trooper he can actually kick out pretty damn far um he can kick for that far he can kick back that far uh he does come with single hinge knees that go past 90 degrees but just barely past rotation at that knee point as well as ankle articulation down that far ankle articulation up that far and of course a ball rocker hinge joint so yeah guys all in all it's another star wars black series reuse to the max except for the head sculpt as you can see and honestly guys like i said they really dropped the ball by not just making their own unique body sculpt for the republic commando team i mean that's four figures right there that they could have used it for and honestly i would have taken that body and just reused it as a regular plain white commando and i personally would have bought it as an army builder i would have bought like eight of those things however uh let's not give hasbro those ideas now because i do not want eight of these guys like this in white no now had they created a unique body mold for that yes that would have been worth the money for and everything but this this is barely going to be worth the money to complete the team and like i said it's only because i absolutely love republic commandos and uh this republic commando team in particular so with that being said guys let me know down in the comments below are you guys going to be picking this guy up rate this guy down in the comments below also one out of ten and uh let me know what do you guys think do you think this is an acceptable boss figure or do you think hasbro dropped the ball and could have given us a more unique boss figure you know so with that being said guys join me every sunday for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more and join me every wednesday over on instagram at cool figures for coffee and toys live where i will speak to a new guest every week about toys toy collecting toy hunting toy photography and so much more now let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy if you did enjoy this video please remember to like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video if you enjoyed those pics you can find the full images over on instagram at cool figures and i do also have a separate instagram account for my more thought out planned out more edited pics called epic shots by cool figures check it out if you like what you see leave me a follow there as well and if you guys like unboxings check me out over on tiktok at cool figures that's where i post all of my unboxings and check me out every sunday for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders weekly toy haul and so much more and join me every wednesday over on instagram for coffee and toys live where i will speak to a new guest every week about toys toy hunting toy photography and so much more thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys i really do appreciate it